Hello all, this is the fifth video in the series. In this video, I'll explain about linear independence and linear dependence. So, let's see what is meant by linearly independent vectors. Let me take set of vectors v1, v2, son of the vn of a vector space v over f. Now, take up the linear combination of these vectors. If this is equal to 0, if that is uh, uh, equated to the 0 vector, then that tells you every alpha i should be equal to 0. For all i here, alpha i equal to 0. If this condition is satisfied, then we call this set of vector, this set of vector, yes, is linearly independent set. Okay. So, this is the formal definition. Let us understand it visually, what exactly linear dependence or independence means. Take up two vectors, s is equal to 1, 0 and 0, 1. That is nothing but 1, 0, i cap, unit vector along x axis, j cap, unit vector along y axis. Linear independent means, vectors are in different direction. They cannot be, that th those two vectors are not in collinear, means they are not either in the same direction or in the opposite direction. So, they are independent. They are in, this is in one direction, this is in another direction. So, that is what the literal meaning of the linear independence. No vector is in the same direction or opposite direction as any other vector of the set. So, if that is happening, then we can say that it is linearly independent. 1, 0, 0, 1 linearly independent. Similar 2, 0, 0, 2. Without the calculative method, you can say that it is linearly independent because they are not along the same line of reference. This is in its own direction, another is in its own direction. Such vectors are called as linearly independent vectors. Now, take up this. One common, so, the way, uh, mathematical way of verifying is alpha into 1 comma 0 plus beta into 0 comma 1 equated to 0. If you get all alphas 0, alpha betas are 0, then it is linearly independent. So, alpha uh, comma beta equal to 0, that can be represented as 0 comma 0, which implies alpha and beta both are 0, hence they are linearly independent. This is how we prove mathematically. But visually, if they are in the different directions, then they become linearly independent. Now, linearly dependent vectors, as I told you, a set of vectors is linearly dependent if at least one alpha i is not equal to 0. If this linear combination relation is equated to 0, then at least one of the alpha i is not equal to 0. That means at least one vector can be written as a combination of other vectors. Okay. Or else, at least there exists one vector which is in the same direction or in the opposite direction of as that of one more vector which is in the set. So, for example, 1 comma 0, 2 comma 0. So, you take two vectors in the on the x-axis. They are in the same direction. Now, here only you can tell they are not linearly dependent, independent. They are linearly dependent because they uh, are along the same line of uh, same line of reference passing through these two vectors. So, let us uh, prove it mathematically. Alpha into 1 comma 0 plus beta into 2 comma 0 is equal to 0. So, then alpha plus 2 beta equal to 0 comma 0, alpha plus 2 beta equal to 0, then alpha equal to minus 2 beta. So, alpha equal to minus 2 beta means beta is dependent, alpha is dependent on beta. Give um, value for beta as 1, alpha becomes minus 2, then this relation becomes 0. So, alpha and beta both are need not be 0. There are other possible ways uh, for these alpha and beta uh, to make this relation 0. So, hence it becomes linearly dependent. So, similarly, beta equal to 1 and alpha equal to minus 2, if substitute, you will get 0, 0. This is linear dependence and linear independence in R square. Similarly, you can have linear dependence and linear independence in R cube also. So, two vectors are linearly dependent if they are in same direction or opposite direction. That means they are collinear. They are uh, along the same line of reference. If there is a vector passing through that vector, there is a line. If the given vectors are along the same line of reference, then uh, they are linearly dependent. In R cube, two vectors are linearly dependent if they satisfy this condition. Three vectors are linearly independent if they lie in the same plane passing through the origin. So, if you have given with the three vectors of R cube, to check that uh, are they linearly dependent or not, you have to check are they in the same plane which passes through the origin. Just, just uh, one uh, way of uh, proving are they linearly dependent. There are other ways also. How exactly you will go with the checking that I, uh, I will uh, share it in some other video. Here I am making you to understand what exactly uh, the meaning of linear independence and linear dependence is. It is all about visualizing the linear algebra. Later I will go with the uh, 
uh, algebraic representation and uh, sol problem solving uh, through these concepts of linear dependence and linear independence. Now, four or more vectors in R cube automatically becomes linearly dependent. There is uh, again a theorem on uh, linear dependence that um, more than the dimension, if you contain any vectors which is more than the dimension of the given space, then it becomes linearly dependent. That is certain other case. Just to remember that uh, this is how we uh, specify the linear dependence in R cube. But for the time being, it is enough if you remember linear dependence means they are either in the same direction or in the opposite direction or they are along the same line of reference um, or else in R square I am explaining in R square or else linearly independent means they are in different directions. No possibility of writing one vector in terms of the other vector. In the line linearly dependency, you can write one vector as a multiple of another vector or else uh, uh, multiple of set of vectors in the given set. But that possibility won't arise in the case of linearly independency. So this is what the meaning of linearly dependence and linearly independent vectors. Thank you for watching.